All new tonight, CBS News Texas cameras got new video of a coyote roaming through a closed Arlington Park tonight. And that's as we learn yet another child was bitten by a coyote in that same park in recent days. Yeah, the first attack was on Saturday. A second we did not previously know about on Monday and a third yesterday. Now the city of Arlington says they are asking wildlife experts from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to come to Parkway Central Park to try to track down and trap any coyotes. Marvin Hearst is there where the search continuing tonight. Good evening to you, Ken and Amelia. Uh, let me tell you, the city of Arlington also adding to the effort tonight by rolling out one of these big signs. They have a couple of them around the park. When it's on, it warns park goers not to come here because there's coyote activity. And let me tell you, they need those signs. There was one not so far from where I'm standing, strolling around like a park goer. Animal experts tried to catch up with it, but they couldn't. So it still remains uncaught. A roaming coyote at Parkway Central Park causing chaos as CBS News Texas hustles to keep the creature on camera. Animal agents in Arlington move in. We have three traps set, game cams, and we've been scouring the area trying to locate these the coyote or coyotes. Wednesday night, those same agents on the hunt. Since Saturday, three children have been attacked. We spoke to a witness. There was another mom and she's like, oh my God, some, a, a dog just bit that little boy. And um, the, she went and she ran over there and then threw her shoe at the, at the dog, which we thought at the time. And then the husband's like, that's not a dog, that's a coyote. The park shut down as authorities try to close in before another attack happens. They're also uh, more active right now due to breeding season that lasts from February through March. Um, during this time, they are more territorial, more aggressive, um, and more active. That's enough to keep park goers away. But my husband and I have said we're probably not going to go back there unless they put fencing around where the woods is uh, because the woods is like just like literally from like here to here from where the playground is. As the elusive search goes on. So Ken and Amelia, Jones Academy in Arlington ISD, not that far from here. We reached out to them because of the students who go there. Of course, there are students who live in this neighborhood as well. The people over at the school district tell us that, you know, seeing coyotes is really nothing new to them. As a matter of fact, their staff have horns to blare at the animals when they get too close to the campus. The playground is also fenced in, but just as a precaution, they decided to keep the kids inside for recess today. I'm live in Arlington, Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas.